what is good guys we have it cb versus Nintendi spl week 2 Nintendi is just gonna protect you to get the mega off he brought the same team that he brought in week one it's like banned week while um i think it was t-way Ferro or starmie and the land was like defensive yeah, first week i thought it could be scarf land but it's just a t-wave on Ferro or Stami for speed control and ice shot on weaver for speed control um so he's just gonna go Stami here to absorb the skull now the um the toxic or t-wave from the Stami here is really obvious uh, it's recover Scald, Rapid Spin, and the last move with the with are Toxic. So really nice play by CB, anticipating one of those status moves to come out. Probably he is Scarf Lando, the way this has been played. CB can just U-turn here to get some momentum. And then he's gonna go to either Landris or Ferrothorn. Uh, yeah, looking at the rest of CB's team, I assume it's gonna be Specs, High Dragon. Uh, defensive Jellison with potential Koba Berry to help with the Rewell matchup. Uh, probably bulky uh, Rocks, Heatran, Scarf Lando with like U-turn, Knockoff, Earthquake, and Stone Edge. Uh, yeah, it could be double specs, spec side dragon plus specs kill you. So the Starmie is really obvious. CB is either gonna scald fishing for the burn on the Starmie, or he could double into High Dragon. He does double into High Dragon, expecting the Starmie. Now on the 10, you can go into either the Anthe or Ferrothorn. As a High Dragon carries like Dark Pulse, Draco, Fire Blast, U Turn. Sometimes they carry Flash Can, but I think Flash Can is not that common. And he's not that weak to the Anthe, so I don't think he has Flash Can. So I would go to the Anthe, he does go into Ferrothorn. And CB is like, oof, let me roast you real quick with the Fire Blast. Now, he's gonna have to go into Weebel here to scare out the High Dragon. See, putting himself in a um, great position. He did the same like last week with early aggressive plays. I really like CB's plays, that's super fire. Now, uh, Weebel is gonna go for a knockoff here, getting rid of Kaldios' item. CB is obviously gonna switch out. High Dragon can still put in work later in the game. No point trying to sack it. But as Nintendo should go for a knockoff because it does more to the Kaldio than Icicle Crash. And it gets rid of an item. So do we see now if it's double specs? It is double specs. Uh, specs high dragon plus specs um, on the Kaleo. Now Starmie is going to come out again. Let's see if he doubles. He does double again in high dragon. And ZB is just playing super fire. Chat's going wild. This is what I like to see. And Tenny is going to go into an either the Anthe or Weeble here. And I think this time ZB is just going to dark pulse. And Tenny is shook, dude. <laughs> There's no way he fire blasts again because there's a potential that uh, the NC could come out here. So he should just dark pulse. That gets more damage off on the NC anyway than fire blast. And also, yeah. Obviously, um, Tenny has to switch. He needs the Stami. Helps him with Heatran. Helps him with Keldeo. And can potentially also burn the Metagross or T wave the Metagross later in the game. Yeah, like I said, he's a bit weak to, um, to be well, CBB. After Kaldu, um, I think Kaldu can only switch in one more time and there might be a roll to get to it KO'd. So it's either Cold Bar on Jellicent or a potential Bullet Punch on Metagross, I would assume. So Dark Bolt is gonna come out here on the Wii while I assume. Yup. Now, Nintendi is gonna knock off. Uh, this is, like I said earlier, it's still val valuable the High Dragon, so yeah, you should just go Kaldu exactly. And we do see this 28, um, this is a roll, so Nintendo doesn't want to risk this, so he's just going to go into Storm here, I would assume. And this time we see most likely a Scald come out from CB, yup. As he gets a crit, does he get the burn as well? He does get the burn as well. So Nintendo can either go for a recover here or fire off a Scald, but he probably wants to recover to have this healthy. So he's either going to go to um, High Dragon or okay, he goes Metagross. So his Metagross either has Thunder Punch or Pursuit, the way this has been played. Nintendo is now either going to hope for um, a Scald burn or for some powerful Paras. We do see now it is Pursuit Metagross. Stami cannot recover this off because burn does 12% in auras. Um, so he just has to hope for a Scald burn here. If he doesn't get it, he loses his Starmie. Bop, he doesn't get the burn. CB is in a really great position. I mean, there's a chance that Volcarona can bring it back, but I'm pretty sure if it's the same team that he brought in Week 1, Volcarona's set is Quiver Dance, Bug Bus, Fire Blast, and Giga Drain. It does not have HP Ground. If they had HP Ground, Giga Drain it could potentially break through the Heatran plus Jellicent combination. And yeah, I assume Nintendo is forced to go into his B while here and then click a uh, knockoff. And as long as this Metagross doesn't have Bullet Punch, then he gets a kill. But there is a slight chance that it has Bullet Punch. Like I said, his team definitely a bit annoyed, but we will. Also, CB was talking yesterday in the Smog Twist chat about like he, he wanted to play early at first, but then he like found out some weakness. And I think th they fixed the weakness. Um, I'm not sure, but might I don't know if it was the we well weakness. And if it was the we well weakness, yeah. Then he might have like put Colbor on Jelly or Bullet Punch on Metagross. So now the the Weeble comes out and the Weeble is gonna click knock off here. It would tweet KO the Kelly obviously at this point. 
would kill the, the mana growth. But CB is just super ahead, and as long as the Volk doesn't have HP ground, I don't see how Nintendo can come back. And even then, CB's, uh, CB still doesn't like auto lose. Like, if he's bulky trend, that can live uh, HP ground even from Volk Corona because uh, it didn't come out yet, he kept it healthy. So, I think if he doesn't have Bullet Punch, he could just sack the Metagross here, he doesn't need it anymore. It's either sacking Metagross or sacking Kalio. If you, but he does have Bullet Punch, he does pick off the Wee Wild. And oof, CB's just. He just knows how to, like. I don't know, like, I love his playing style, and, like, his team is also, like, a bit unique. With, like, ones like Jealous and High Dragon that you don't see that often. My man Padlob uses those two ones. So he does go and High Dragon here on the rocks. He's just gonna Dark Pulse. And then he's either gonna go Hard DNC or stay in into U turn out. He does stay in, it does a lot. That's obviously um, Max HP Landrus. We already saw the helmet earlier. Now he's gonna go into his um, DNC here. And yeah, I think he's gonna click Diamond Storm. And he picks off the High Dragon. So at least it's not a 6 though. Now the. Bullet Punch Metagross comes out here. Uh, Metagross also outspeeds because the NZ usually carries HP fire. But there's yeah, no point in risking it, so he does just click Bullet Punch. Um, I mean, the reason why you would not click Bullet Punch is if you don't want to take... Oh my god, calm down! <laughs> this guy is not... You cannot stop this guy. He doubles into Kalio um, because um, the Volk was quite obvious there. And if you Bullet Punch, he could have gotten burned. And Kelly obviously outspeeds the Volk Runa. Now the Volk is weakened, which means I don't think Volk can win at all. He goes in the Mana Gross, and he can just click uh, an accurate move if he has one. Like, if he has, uh, like, Thunder Punch that would kill, or Earthquake. Yeah, Earthquake. And now that he weakened the Volk with that double into Kelly, Kelly outspeeds Volk, obviously, if Volk doesn't have a coherence up. Uh, even if the Volk has HP ground, I don't think it can win at all. So that was played Super Fire again. Like, just CB, you can see he was just making sure um, Nintendo does double into Volk, and Nintendo is probably gonna have to Giga Drain here to get some health back. Like, you can see CB is making sure that his opponent does not get an opening. After playing Fire early in the game, then he made sure Nintendo could not um, get the Volk in on the Metagross and get a setup opportunity, just in case the Volk has the right moveset with like HP Ground to hit the Heat Drain and Giga Drain for the Jealous End. He made completely sure, nope, not even then you're having a chance. I'm making sure I take this game home. Um, so, Jellicent might go down here, or Heatran might come out as well. Does double into the NC, expecting the Heatran, I assume. I don't think they carry off power though, so Diamond Storm might 2 hit KO. I see he probably just goes for a Lava Plume here. I don't think Heatran carries Flash Can defensive trend, so he goes for the burn here. Does get the burn. Now Diamond Storm does absolutely nothing. Heatran rolls at the NC. He also doesn't need Heatran healthy anymore, even if the Volk has HP ground, because the Volk is already weakened. I talked about it. And uh, yeah, not much to say. So he played this super fire. And Nintendo brought the same team that he brought week one. Um, I think he should have changed it up. But, but yeah, yeah, you could see that CB definitely was thinking like he had something for Volk and he played fire around it. He played it at Dragon Fire. I don't think he should have. Nintendo should have gone to Ferrothorn earlier. So he does. Um, what does he go for? Earthquake. Okay. I mean, at this point, he's so far behind. Knocks off the helmet. As the GG is coming out from CBB. So we see it's toxic defensive land though. It's gonna die to the knockoff here. And the Volk was super low, so it's also gonna die to the knockoff. And we're gonna see the Volk's item, I assume it's Lumberry. Something like that. We don't see the item because he forwards before. Thank you guys for watching. CB and uh, um, Cryos are up 2 0 in week 2. Poek uh, won the first game versus P2. It was a bit unfortunate. I also uploaded that if you wanna check it out. And yeah, I'll pause it real quick and we will look at the score. As you guys can see here, the Cryos are up 2 over versus the Tigers. And what other matches are upcoming? Snow versus uh, Femin. Yeah, I mean, the most interesting other series, uh, other games are, for, especially for Sunim and Oyo, are in like the, the Wolfpack versus Scooter series, that ABR game. But yeah, I don't even know what to say. Like, I think like people might like try to stay in versus CB because he like plays aggressive early in the game. They might try to stay in in the next weeks. But yeah, he has been playing super fire. It's just so enjoyable to watch. He gets the smoke to his chat wild and everything. Yeah, I think I saw X Ray also saying the smoke to his chat. I think he plays UB. Did he say in week what was it, week nine? I don't remember, but he plays in a in a later week. Wait, how many weeks does SPL even have? Let me check real quick. 
Yeah, okay, it does have nine weeks. I was gonna say, I don't wanna give wrong information out. And then week 10 semifinals and week 11 finals there. Yeah, it's gonna be a long SPL. We're gonna record pretty much. I'm gonna record as much as I can. Have a fantastic day. Thank you guys for watching and peace out.